Dog Boo Waffle. It's the Crack Brothers. While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How did they get there? Come on, let's go. Me and you and Sabu. Swimming. Great wave there. No kidding. You know what I love about surfing? Yeah, it makes you feel like you're a swimming creature riding the wind. <laughs> Look, a black jaguar. Ah! How's the water, Martin? Great. It's a good thing I love swimming. And so does Chris. <laughs> there are so many great swimming creatures. Like sharks. Manatees. All sorts of amazing fish. Yeah, including moray eels. Dolphins. I love the water. Yeah, me too. Except when I get in my ear. I wonder if Zabu's up for a swim. Let's call him. Zabu! Zabu! Buddy, how you doing? We've got a great day going on today. What do you want to do? Well, no chat until he's been snacking. <laughs> how about mangoes, Sabu? Mangoes are slimy. But Sabu loves them. Sabu's noisy when he eats slimy stuff. <laughs> Mango's a pretty slippery fruit, isn't it, Sal? Wet and slippery. I saw some wet and slippery creatures on my way here. Yeah? Yeah, they were playing and having a lot of fun. Who could they be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? As soon as I saw her, she jumped in the water. <laughs> and then there was another one. They swam round and round and round. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. What a face! With whiskers, too. Wahoo! <laughs> Furry swimmers. Do you know who they are? Long body, short legs. Mm -hmm. Long flat tail with lots of whiskers. Mm -hmm. Sounds to me like you saw. Who? Mongazika! Mystery animals here! River, River otters. otters! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> River otters! Look at these guys! Hey, how you doing? You know, river otters are one of the most water-loving of all the weasels, but when they're looking for a new home, they can travel up to 100 miles on land. Wow, that's far. But why did they travel here? Hey, Martin, what do you think the otters are looking for? I don't know. But I do know who is who. 
This is the female otter. She has the lighter fur, and this is the male otter. He has the darker fur. Now, the male is a little bigger than the female, and they love to hang out together. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I love otter faces. Look at them. They have their little tiny ears, the whiskers, the black nose, and their heads are flattened. The faces are built for swimming through the water. And that's probably what they're looking for. A place to swim. Hey, we have an empty pool. Otters love the water, and they're built for swimming. So how about swimming with the otters? Let's hit the water. Martin, Chris, I don't think there's any room. What do you mean? It's just us and the otters. No, there's a jaguar in there now. I can't believe my mind. Whoa. He beat us to it. Look at him wrestle. Yeah, jaguars are water wrestling wildcats. <laughs> he might want to stay in the pool all day. Jaguars are one of the few big cats who love swimming. Well, there's only one thing for an otter to do when a jaguar's in the pool. Yeah, wait till he gets out. <laughs> wait, then swim. Exactly, <laughs> sense it. These are river otters, but there are lots of different kinds of otters in the world. Like all otters, giant otters love to eat fish and swim and even eat fish while swimming. Hey, listen to that. I think he likes this. Do you hear that sound? Otters make lots of different sounds to communicate with each other. Sounds to say hello, sounds to say back off, including sounds to warn each other of danger, like a jaguar. Now, even when otters are lazing around, somebody always has an eye out for danger. If an otter spots a jaguar, she gives the warning. As long as the otters know that the jaguar's around, they don't have that much to worry about. Because a pack of otters is one tough bunch of creatures. Well, our river otters are still waiting for the jaguar to get out of the pool. If you want to be an otter, try this. Lie down real flat on the ground. Okay. That's how otters lie down. Mm -hmm. Let me try. Okay. Lie flat on your belly like an otter. How's this, Martin? That's right, Zob. <laughs> yeah, we got to there. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> hey, and you know where giant otters like to sleep? They love to pull out onto a log and have a good snooze. Zob! <laughs> 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 Oh, sorry, I fell asleep. Uh, yeah. Hey, look! The pool is empty. <laughs> Time for a swim. Let's go swimming. Hey, nice jump. We're on the move. <laughs> Follow me to the pool. Come on, let's walk like an otter. You gotta keep your back arched. Legs really short. <laughs> Soon we'll be swimming like otters. Uh oh, penguins! They beat us to the pool. The pool's full. Now the otters have to wait again while well, the penguins cool off. Okay, so the penguins have the pool. What are we gonna do now? Hey, maybe the otters want to play ball while we wait for a turn at the pool. Playing ball's fun. Good catch. You know what I love about otters is when they walk, they look like they have no legs sometimes. They just look like furry snakes. Yeah. <laughs> and look where he's going. Otters can get into really tight places. Martin, Chris, the penguins are leaving. The pool's empty again. Hey, Zop, huh? are you ready to go swimming yet? Yeah, let's go. Let's go then. Uh, Martin? There's somebody in the pool. Again? Mm -hmm. Manga Zika. You just can't keep a great swimmer out of the water. Capybaras. The world's biggest rodent is a big swimmer. And when it's soaking time for capybaras, it's time for us to... Hmm, what is it time for us to do? 
It's time for them to wait and find something else to do. Hey, guys, the otters want to slide. Of course, otters love to slide. In the winter, sliding is the fastest and easiest way to go down a hill. It's fun, too. It's time for us to build a slide. A water slide. Let's get the slide supplies. is leaving. The pool is empty. They can nope. swim now. <laughs> Why no more waiting? Oh, they like can swim now. Ready, Martin? Let's put it down over here. Okay, the otters are gonna love this slide. Let's just make our final adjustments. Hey, Zob, give us a hand. Okay, where do I start? Start over there, Zob. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Little dizzy's up? Yeah, yeah. I think next time I'll just watch, okay? <sighs> hey, come on, Zob. The otters want to get in. Yeah. Hey, there's no slip to this slide. And when there's no slip, there's no slide. <laughs> it works. It's time to slide. Come on in. Okay, everybody in the pool. And I'm out. <laughs> In the pool. Yeah. Oh, the swimming. Oh, Sika. Swimming sure is fun for otters. Hey guys, coming in. <laughs> Where's the slide? <laughs> Too cold for me. I know what you mean, Zob. But otters have no problem in cold water. They have waterproof fur that keeps them dry and warm underneath. <sighs> Lucky for them. <laughs> yeah, you have to have warm, waterproof fur to go swimming in the winter. Uh-oh, I got water in my ear again. <laughs> Otters never get water in their ears. Their ears close when they go underwater. I bet Martin wishes he had otter years now. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> ah! This time I got water up my nose! <laughs> Otter's nostrils close when they're swimming underwater. Otters have two eyelids. One eyelid is clear and helps them see underwater, and the other eyelid is just like ours. I bet Martin wishes he had otter ears and nose. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? Then no water would get my ears, I could keep my eyes open, no water would get up my nose, and I could just glide on the bottom and hold my breath for a long time. Bet you wish you had otter ears and nose. Wait a second. Who does? Look at all those whiskers, Zob. Yeah, what are they for? They use them to feel around in murky water. Oh. <laughs> When an otter swims, he kicks his hind feet just like we do. But when an otter really wants to move, he goes underwater and twists his body and tail. Otters swim using the back half of their bodies. It helps them swim fast and turn quickly. All this splashing around is making me feel otterish. I'm going back in. Woo! I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel otterish. How about you? Otterish. I feel otterish. Otterish. I'm a playful little swimmer splashing in a tub. Oh, they have to go already? <laughs> Great swimming with the otters. See you later. Come back soon. I love otters. <laughs> Me too, I love otters. <sighs> Incoming! Dot! 
Sneaky Feet, the Peregrine Falcon's here with a message from Jackie. Does this look like glittering to you? I don't think so. We've been playing with Derby all day, but earlier we didn't know what to do. It was really hot out. Even the dog didn't want to play. Until we thought, hey, let's go swimming. We had a great time playing in the water, and Derby can never get enough of it. It's great exercise for her, and it's a lot of fun. Plus, she got a bath without even knowing it. Swimming is fun, especially when you're swimming with a great animal like Derby. Swimming creatures really know how to have fun. Hey, and even a peregrine falcon likes a bird bath now and then. <laughs> Let's go swim with one of the creatures who loves to swim the most. To the closet. To the closet. They're going to the closet. They're Time for some swimming spots. We'll need masks, snorkels, patch kit just in case. To grab their stuff and spin. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. See you, Zav. Uh oh. We're out on the ocean, all set to swim with sea lions. Except I don't see any sea lions anywhere. Chris, look down. Cool, sea lions. Look over there! Martin, they're leaving. Let's go! Are you okay? That was a bumpy landing. <laughs> yeah, but we did it sea lion style. And now, let's go swimming with the sea lions. Right. Grab the stuff. I can't wait to get in there with them. Hold it, Martin. What if the boat has a hole in it? Oh, I've got the patch kit, remember? If the boat has a hole in it, we'll fix it later. Sea lions are friendly. They're not afraid of people who come to play with them. Hey, somebody tickled me. Let's find out who. Awesome, look at them all. Yeah, hey, you know what they have in common? They all want to play. Hey, nice move. Did you see that? That was the Sea Lion Super Loop. Let's try it. Okay, my turn. Here we go. Up, 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 up and over. Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna try the swim twist. Whoa! Hey, he's doing it too. What super swimmers? Hey, wait a second. Where's my patch kit? Have you seen my patch kit? Oh, the sea lions! Oh no, wait, wait, come back! No, no, don't take the patch kit! Did you see that? She took my patch kit! <laughs> we better make sure our boat's okay. Oh no! The boat's flat! And we can't fix it, because we lost the patch kit. Now we can't get off this island. We're stuck here. So, I guess we'll hang out with the sea lions. Sea lions all over the world love to haul out and rest on the beach. And young sea lions love to run around and chase each other.
This is the land of the sea lions. It's amazing. Walk like a sea lion. Sea lions have flippers instead of feet, so it's a little hard for them to walk on land. Oh. Ooh, tell me about it. This is the life. <sighs> Spending a day with the sea lions. Sea lions are great. But you know, if we stay here forever, I think I'm gonna miss Sabu. If only our boat wasn't so flat. I wish we had a patch kit to fix it. What's that? It's a patch kit. Now we can fix our boat. I wished for it, and here it is. <laughs> wow, lucky us. And now, I'm gonna blow it up. <sighs> We're all set. We swam with the creatures who love swimming, sea lions. And swimming with sea lions is like having a party underwater. I hope your party lasts forever. Bye, sea lions. We'll come back soon. <laughs> As soon as Zabu hears about these sea lions, <laughs> he's gonna want to go <laughs> swimming again. <laughs> hey, sounds like somebody's already swimming. <laughs> Come on, check it out. Hey guys, hey, look at my new friend over here. Look at this swimmer. He can stay underwater for a long time. A soft-shelled turtle. He's a great swimmer. Yeah, my new friend is flat and round like a pancake. So that's his new name, Pancake. A pancake has a hard shell. It's great for protection, right? That's a soft-shelled turtle. His shell isn't hard. He doesn't have that kind of protection. Soft-shelled turtles don't hide completely inside their shell to avoid predators, like most turtles do. Well, he doesn't have to hide, because pancake doesn't need protection from me. Soft-shelled turtles are great swimmers, because they have webbed feet that work like paddles. Wow. His shell is really soft. It's so soft, I can feel him breathe through his shell. And you know what? Soft-shelled turtles have one of the longest necks of all turtles. His neck is almost as long as his body. Yeah, that's a long neck. There you go, buddy. Wow, Pancake can really stay underwater for a long time. Yeah, and the secret is in his long neck and long nose. A soft-shelled turtle can stick up his long neck like a snorkel and take a breath of air from the surface, duck his head down, and keep on swimming. Wow. Oh, that reminds me of my story. I met someone who lives underwater in Sabu land. So I was leap, leap, leaping along. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When all of a sudden, I bumped into Narchi. Oof! <laughs> Hi, Narchi. Hi, Zabu. Great to see you. Hey, Zabu, want to play Goopleberry Ball? <laughs> sure, I said. So we played. I threw the Goopleberry Ball to Narchi, <laughs> and he threw it back to me. <sighs> yeah. Hey, Zabu, catch this. <laughs> it's my super duper double looper. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Uh-oh. That was our only Goobleberry. How are we gonna play now? But oh. suddenly, hey. the Goobleberry well, blew right back to us. Hey, hey where did that come from? Well, who blew that Goobleberry? Nobody. Okay, then, uh, who threw it? Me. Who's me? Yeah, who's me? Me. Phoebe. Huh? Phoebe was shy and wouldn't come <clears throat> out of the water. But that was okay, because every time our <clears throat> ball went splash, <clears throat> Phoebe got it. And we played loop-de-loop -loop ball all day long. 
Hey, Phoebe, throw it over. Yeah, throw it back. Okay. The end. <laughs> Phoebe sounds like a great swimmer, Zob. Oh, there are so many great swimmers, and we saw so many. I can't believe my mind. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his climbing behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. Keep on leaping, Lemur. Hey, Mark, let's go water skiing. Sure, let's grab the skis and hit the water. Chris, there's just one thing else we need. Our boat. I'm Allison, and this is my pet crab, Herbert. I'm Alyssa, and here's my pet crab, Herman. In the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How did we get there? Come on, let's go. Me and you and Sabuma Come along and see what's new. to see animal jumps is the place to be Slimed. <laughs> but it's good slime, because when dogs lick their faces, it means they like it. Hey, I know somebody else who likes getting slimed sometimes. A little lemur. Let's call him. Come on. Zabumafu! Zabu! Zabu! Zabu's here. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> what should we get Zabu today? How about something sweet and slimy? <laughs> Mangoes! <laughs> Zabu, mangoes! Whoa, hey! Mangoes are slimy. But Zabu loves them. Zabu's noisy when he eats slimy stuff. <laughs> Mango slimy enough for you. Oh, I'm Vuki. Slime is good. Yeah, you know your stuff, Zob. <laughs> slime is good. And there are lots of reasons slime is good. Hey, and Zob, huh? we have a few friends who want to say hello. Yeah? Where? 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 Over here, Zob. Huh? Oh, it's puppies. Hi, puppies. It's me, Zabu. Oh, no, 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 so slow down, slow down, guys, slow down, slow down. Yeah, I want to see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's our Zabu. Whoa, whoa, take it, take it easy, take it easy. Okay, 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 okay guys, guys. Oh, boy, are they ever slimy? Hey, you're little like me. Well, hey, we can be special friends. Uh, I think I'll call you uh, Roy. Yeah. Roy's a good name. <laughs> Those were big slimy licks for a little lemur to take. But here at Animal Junction, everybody gets slimed. <laughs> hey, 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 remember when Cheetah licked me? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that was really slimy. I 
Hey, and the white wolves were all over us with those tongues. <laughs> and the puppies love to lick, too. <laughs> and the lion can put the lick on. <laughs> yeah, I like you, too. <laughs> it's always slime time and animal junk. Yeah, yes, I'm so fine, I can't believe my mind. Slime is great! My turn to slime. Now we're both slimy. Oh, I feel like a mango. A little slimy. Oh, <laughs> Wait a minute. My face feels like a... Like, like what, Zob? Like the creature I touched by the pond. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? <laughs> wow, what a mouth. Her mouth was most of her body. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. And when I touched her, that's when I knew. She's slimy. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this? <laughs> She's a big mouthed, googly eyed, slimy creature. Do you know who she is? Big googly eyes on the top of her head. Slimy to the touch. Hop, hop, hopping. She must be an African, African bullfrog. Manga Slime Sky. It's the mystery animal. Wow, now this is a big frog. Mm. That's slimy. Mm, slimier than a puppy lick, but not as slimy as Mango. I wonder if this frog's slime tastes better than puppy slime. Hmm. Well, I think I'll try. Holy Zob! What? Don't lick her. Well, why not? I like her. The puppies like me, they lick me. I like the frog, I lick the frog. Some frogs have poison in their slime. It's for oh. protection. So, uh, no licking the frog? Nope. nope. Because if you lick the frog, it'll taste real bad. Ooh. And you could get sick or even die. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait up! Look at her foot. A frog foot doesn't have claws or nails on the end of her toes. And check out that mouth. This frog could swallow a rat whole. Yeah, if you had a mouth that big, your mouth would stretch from ear to ear. Hey, her skin's drying out. Time to get re-slimed. There you go. And that's one of the amazing things about frog slime. All frogs have slime, and all frogs have the same basic body design. Although they're not all alike. They're different, not the same. Exactly, Zob. And there are so many different kinds of frogs out there. One great way to find a frog is to follow a puppy. Because a puppy is very curious, and a puppy has slime in his nose. <laughs> and believe it or not, the slime in a puppy's nose helps him smell. Well, that reminds me of when I was leaping along through Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, 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 when I heard something. <laughs> A little green puppy ran up to me. She said, I like you. She licked my tummy. Whoa, that tickles. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, that tickles too much. So, no, no, stop, stop licking my tummy. Oh, so she did. And then she licked my face. <laughs> I like you, puppy. I like you too, Zabu. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and that's how the green puppy and I became best friends. <laughs> the end. All done. Hey, Martin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chris. Whoa! <laughs> Look at this little slimy blob. Oh, yeah. A budget's frog. Huh. Did you know that a frog slime is also called mucus? She's all shiny and wet. That's mucus, Zob. It's wet, but it's a lot more than that. Slimy mucus helps keep a frog from drying out. 
Did you see her eyeballs disappear into her head? That's how she keeps her eyeballs nice and wet and slimy, too. Budget's frogs have to stay nice and slimy. So they live in wet places to help them stay that way. And slime helps keep frog eggs wet. Frog eggs have slimy jelly all around them. After a while, tadpoles hatch out of the eggs and start to grow. First they grow legs, then they grow arms, and then they lose their tails and become frogs. I can't believe my mind. Those little swimmers turn into frogs? Yep, this tadpole will lose her tail, grow arms and legs, and turn into an African bullfrog. Well, she doesn't look anything like her mom. But they will. Most tadpoles take two months to become frogs. This frog lays eggs too? Yep, she's a firebelly toad. Hmm. And the bright colors of the firebelly toad tell other animals she's poisonous and to stay away. She has poison in her slime. Poison? Oh, <laughs> nice froggy. I think I'll just get to know her from over here. <laughs> how is it over there? <laughs> this is how you hang out with a poisonous frog. Oh, she thinks it's time to go. Let's hop. Another incredible kind of slime is in a creature's mouth. It's called saliva, and it helps a creature break food down into smaller pieces. <laughs> what did he say? Have I got slime too? Oh, yeah. We've seen so many creatures use slime to eat their food, and we haven't even talked about it. Monkeys need slime to help them eat bananas. And elephants need a ton of slime to chow down on leaves. Camels chew over and over again to mix their saliva in with their food. A pygmy marmoset loves to lick up gooey tree sap for a snack. And rhinos eat big food, so they need big slime. Just remember, when you eat your food, slime's always there to help you along. Because we use slime, or saliva, to help us eat our food, too. But you're a human. I didn't know you could slime. Humans are creatures too, you know, Zog. Huh. And boy, we start out knowing how to slime big time. <laughs> oh, I never realized how great slimy is. Slime is good. Oh, hey, puppies, do you know that? Uh-oh, I shouldn't have done that. No, 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 sl slow down. Sl oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, they're really sliming me. I think I'm gonna call you, uh, uh, lick me and and you lickster and and licorice over there and well and of course Roy. <laughs> Good name, and Zob. I'm, and I'm all slimed. <laughs> Lickster's a real licker. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look, Lickster's sitting on top of licorice. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel slimy-ish. How about you, slimy-ish? Slimy-ish. <laughs> slimy-ish. I'm squishy and a mushy and I love to be slime. When a St. Bernard puppy plays ball, she plays slimy. Slimy-ish. Mm. I can't believe my mind. The dirt's alive. Chris Martin, the dirt's alive. You're right, Zob. But these are worms living in the dirt. Let's see. And these super slimers have mucus that helps them slide through underground Ooh. tunnels. Hey, I want to be slimy. It sounds manga -tsika. You know what? I think it's time we figured out a way to get super slimy. What do you think? I think it's time. Time, time to, to build, build a slime, slime machine. <laughs> Let's, Let's go! go!
Let's make it slime. Hold it. Hmm? Incoming duck! Oh. He's not a duck. He's sticky feet. A peregrine falcon. It's a good thing I didn't name you Slimy Feet, otherwise you would have slid right off the barrel. <laughs> Did you have a good flight, Sticky Feet? Hmm? Huh. A little bumpy. Well, he still managed to hang on to the message from Jackie. Hi, Martin and Chris. We're here at Mud Puppy Pond, raking up all the dead leaves. They make great homes for mud puppies. Mud puppies are a type of salamander that live underwater and hide in the leaves. In fact, that's how Mud Puppy Pond got its name, because of the mud puppies that live here. So I'm taking these leaves and spreading them on the water. Let's see if the mud puppies like it. Maybe they like the rocks better. Don't their gills look like fingers? I love mud puppies. They're cool. Now it's time to go home, little guy. Bye. Manga Zika, mud puppies are the best. <laughs> They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. You know what always happens when we open the closet? Well, we got to do what we got to do. <laughs> <laughs> Lamp. Hold it. We forgot to get slime. And if you're gonna see slimy creatures, you have to be slimy creatures. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One of you has to get in. If we were slimier, we'd slide right in. Guys, hey guys, I'll help you. Here I come. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been slimed! Have you ever? <laughs> You're the slimiest lemur I've ever seen. I'm the slimiest lemur in the world. <laughs> We're all slimed up and ready for a slimy adventure. <laughs> Come on! They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. See you later, Zob! Stay slimy! Our slimy buddies are around here someplace. Now, all we have to do is find them. But where do you think we should look? Let's look for salamanders where they hide. Under rocks. A salamander! Oh, what a great creature. It's a spotted salamander. Wow, look at all those spots. Spotted salamanders are amazing, even though they're not the biggest or the slimiest salamander. And slimy salamanders like to eat slimy things like worms. Whatever salamander you look at, you have to be really gentle, especially when you put them back. And here's how you put back a salamander the right way. First, you grab the rock and you put it back. And then you put the salamander back beside the rock. And you let him crawl under the rock himself. That way, he doesn't get squished. And he goes safely back to his underground world. Hey, here's another salamander. You know what an amazing thing about salamanders is they actually breathe through their skin. And slimy skin helps a salamander breathe better. Who's under here? A red salamander. Wow. That is the brightest red salamander I have ever seen. Now let's put the salamander back. Remember how? First, you put the rock back. And then, you put the salamander next to the rock. You know, the red salamander was pretty slimy. But there's even a slimier buddy out here. And it's not me. All of my slime is dried off. My skin's dry too. You know, I could use a good re-sliming about now. Me too. Mmm, all slime and all natural. Let's just soak in the slime for a while. Slime. 
Okay, we're re-slimed and ready to find the largest salamander in North America. He likes to hang out in rivers just like this one. Chris, I found him. This is a hellbender salamander. He's the largest salamander in all of North America. And definitely the slimiest. I can hardly hold on to him. <laughs> for a salamander, he's really big, right? But for a hellbender, this is just a baby. His parents are this long. I think we should let this slimy salamander slip away. Good idea. There he goes. And with that flat body, he can really hug onto the river bottom and slide right under rocks. Salamanders are amazing! And slime is good. Hey, and now, let's head on back to Animal Junction. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Even the rocks are slimy. Slippery. Whoa. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Sab is having fun. Let's get in there. Whoa. Look at all those snakes. Snakes, yeah, snakes. <laughs> no kidding, Sab. There's a lot of snakes. Huh. Look at this carpet python. And here's a gray banded king snake. Look at the incredible muscle control on this carpet python. He lives in trees. And that's why you can reach out from one branch to the next. Chris, talking about muscles, check out this big guy. Wow. I'll get him from this end. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, this is a Burmese python. I can't believe my mind. How about this emerald green python? The albino version. Hey, here's a corn snake. Huh? Wow. Close. Whoa. They're all tangled up. <laughs> Here's a sand boa. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. A baby ball python. Snakes are trying to slime me, but they're dry. They must be running out of slime. Do the slime machine. Hold it, up. <laughs> they didn't run out of slime. Snakes aren't slimy. Maybe people think they're slimy because they're so shiny, but really, snakes are smooth and dry. Smooth and dry? Well, is that good? They're dry on the outside, but inside, they're wet. They have a lot of slimy saliva. Yeah, now snakes don't chew their food like we do. They swallow it whole. So, they need a lot of saliva in their mouths for easier swallowing. Too bad you don't need to go to the slime machine. It's lots of fun. I wonder where he's going. Hmm. Uh, uh, snake? Where are you going? Get, uh, oh! <laughs> Martin! <laughs> Chris! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Zavu's head's gone away! <laughs> slime! <laughs> Get Martin, Chris! I stop! Hold on, Zavu, we'll slime you out of there! Something. Chris, I got the slime! Here you go. All right. Yeah. Let's slime him up good. Here you go. Here you, go. All right. you ready? Yep. Hey, All right, Zob. We're going to slime me out of there like okay. a worm sliding through an underground tunnel. Oh, ready, okay. Zob? Ready? One, ready? two, two three. three. Slime is good. <laughs> All right. So let's get slimed. Yeah. Hey, hey who? Hubba, hubba. <laughs> slime me. Slime me. <laughs> okay. I'll pull a thing and make you guys slimy. Right. Right. Oh. Uh-oh, what's going on? Mm. Hey, this booster beater valve couldn't create an inverse pressure gradient. Huh? Oh. All right. I can do it. Okay. How about this? Ah, the turbocharged slime condenser. Good yeah. idea. <laughs> All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Today. Yeah, slimy buddies. Hey, 
I have another slimy buddy in Zabu land. I was leaping along. Leap, <laughs> leap, leap. Leap, leap, and I thought I heard a rock crying. And I said, is that a rock crying? And a sad little voice said, No, it's me, Slime Man. Well, don't cry. You just need a big hug. She said, That's why I'm sad. Nobody wants to hug with me because I'm so slimy. But I told her, I don't mind. Come on, you can give me a hug. Come on. It's hard to make friends when you squirt out of their hugs. But I said, I love your slimy hug. That was so much fun. Can you oh, do it again? Yeah, come on, come on. Now I'm slimy too. And it's my turn to hug you. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> I'm glad I'm slimy. <laughs> the end. Guys, what was our favorite part of the day? I, I loved, loved being slime. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Oh. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah! Bye, guys. I'm going to go home and tell my mom about being slimed. <laughs> Bye, Zob. Keep on leaving, lemur. Bye, puppies. Hey, Martin, let's head down to Mud Puppy Pond and see if we can find more slimy buddies. I'm with you, brother. See you later. Bye. Hi, my name's Krista. This is my pet hamster, Coco. He has one dark eye and one red eye. Tabu Mafu. With the Crab Brothers. While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How did we get there? Come on, let's go. Me and you and Sabuma Boo. Come along and see what's new. We're doing the things that animals do. New animal friends to see. Animal jumps is the place to be. Elephants are leaping. Wild dogs running and nobody's sleeping. Me and you and Sabuma Boo. Snow day. Hey, Chris, this must be the snowstorm of the century. Yeah, it's freezing out here. Hey, snow creatures, it's wild out there. But you know what really amazes me is how animals can stay outside all winter long. It's incredible. Yeah, we saw a moose who was just standing around in the snow. But how does he stand the cold? And otters were just playing around like it was summer. As comfortable as can be. Yeah, now we humans need a lot of clothes to stay warm. And we need to live in heated houses. But some animals like polar bears spend the entire winter living outside in the snow. How do these creatures do it? I don't know. But I just thought of one animal who can't stand the snow. Zabu. Because lemurs are warm weather creatures. Zabu, you must have got here before the storm. You want a little rub down? Maybe that'll warm you up. There you go, buddy. Mmm, I've got a hot chocolate. But what would warm a lemur's belly? Something orange and yummy. Sweet potato, and I just had some. Guys, guys, yeah. how come the clouds fell down? The clouds fell down? Mm -hmm. All over the ground, white and fluffy. There's clouds all over the ground. Snow. Zabu's talking about snow, not clouds. Yeah, yeah. And in the clouds, uh, I mean the snow, a creature ran around. I couldn't believe my mind. Who? What? 
No, who? Who? Yahoo! What are you so happy about? No, not Yahoo! But who? Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Okay, he was in the snow. Always in the snow. Except when he was in the trees. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. But not a lemur. Who could be this animal who I did see? Can you help me guess this mystery? What a snow-loving tree swinger. Do you know who he is? You know what? I've got it. It's got to be some kind of monkey. Yeah, but what kind of monkey? Monkey. Monkey. It's a snow monkey. She's very playful. <laughs> yeah, that's a Japanese macaque. All right. A manga snowka, manga snowka. She's on the move. Whoa. Snow monkeys are fast. Hey, hop on me. Whoa, you got me. <laughs> She's strong for a little monkey. <laughs> Snow monkeys are one of the smartest monkeys in the creature world. They're from Japan. Some Japanese macaques live high in the mountains and spend the whole winter outside in the snow. She's cold as an ice cube. What could warm her up? <laughs> Hey, where are you going? Don't you want to play? Whew, ice cubes are cold. Do you want to play a joke on my brother? Okay. Come on. So we have a cold snow monkey. What could warm her up? <laughs> when Chris has an ice cube down his shirt, he jumps around just like a lemur. How does it feel, Chris? Cold, cold. Whoa! Now that is cold. <laughs> I'm gonna get my brother back. But first things first, we have to warm this snow monkey up. Hey, Zob, is Snowmo getting any warmer? Did you get warm yet? Oh, she's still cold. Hmm. I wonder how we can warm her up. Hey, hey, come back here! Where are you going? Whoa! She's fast! Zabu Snowmo sure loves to play. She sure does. Chris! I've got an idea. That's how we can get her warm. How? Playing! Great idea, Zabu! Let's play! She likes to swing. <laughs> hey, Chris is swinging too. So am I. <laughs> Isn't it funny how monkeys can scratch their head with their feet? It really works. Scratching my head with my feet, Snowmo. Oh, yeah. Don't get your toes stuck. I'm so hot, I'm sweating. But Snowmo is still cold. I don't get it. How do we warm a snow monkey up? Hey, Zabu. Uh huh? Look at Snowmo's tail. It's short and stubby. Oh, my gosh. Mine's long. <laughs> I like my tail when I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Snowmo's swinging on my tail. <laughs> No wonder why you're so cold. You've been out in the snow all day. Monkeys have great hands for grabbing onto things, just like we do. Grabby, grabby hands. <laughs> I've got grabby, grabby hands, too! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Her hands are really cold still. I know, I, I know. It. She's not warm yet. I don't know how we're gonna warm her up, Sob. I'll have to think of something. Hmm. How about this? In the wild, snow monkeys eat bark through the winter. Hey, and maybe that's how they keep warm. Oh, but we don't have the right kind of bark here in Animal Junction. You know what, Snowmoth? I had a friend with a different problem. He was warm and wanted to get cold. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I bounced into sense it. <laughs> no, no. Watch where you're going, Zabu, see? He blurped. Hi, sense it. Hi, Zabu. Say, did you see the great snow lemur? Who? You know, he lives on top of Mount Sabumafu. <laughs> then what's he doing right behind you? Oh. Hey, no. <laughs> oh, don't sneak up on a guy like that, yeah. What are you doing behind me, anyhow? I'm here on vacation, but it's too hot here. I like the cold. I like the snow. I have to go. Well, don't go. I know how to keep you cold. How about this giant ice fruitcake? Well, hop up here. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, that's better. That's much better. Yeah. <laughs> so I learned how to cool a friend down. We are like it, nice and cold. But I didn't learn how to warm a friend up. The end. And you're still cold as an ice cube. Still as cold as an ice cube, huh? Do you want to get Chris again? Okay, come on. Martin, we have to figure out a way to warm up Snowmo. Oh, I know, yeah. We tried playing, didn't work. Nope, didn't work. We tried giving her something to eat, didn't work. Nope, didn't work. She's still as cold as a... Ice Oh, Not again! <laughs> Martin gotcha. <laughs> Chris is as cold as you, monkey. <laughs> Got me. I am gonna get Martin back. But first things first, we have a snow monkey to warm up. Hey, Martin. Oh, hi, Snowmo. What's up? Why don't we put some stuff on Snowmo, like you guys do? You mean these clothes up there? Yeah, clothes. All right, we can try it. What do you think, Snowmo? Yeah, try it. What do you think, Snowmo, huh? Maybe that's it. No. Nope. Monkeys don't wear clothes. But they live outside all winter long. What's their secret? Well, their fur is thick and warm. That helps. But for some reason, our little snow monkey's still cold. Hey, Chris, remember the bison we saw? They had big chunks of ice on their fur. Yeah, and they were hanging out around the hot springs to keep warm. The hot steam was making them nice and warm and cozy. That's it. That's it! Martin, I can't believe we forgot. What? Somebody, tell me. Yeah, it's the most amazing thing. What is? When it gets really cold, snow monkeys go to natural hot springs. They soak in the hot water, and that's how they stay warm through the coldest winters. Nothing warms up a snow monkey like a hot bath. So let's do what the snow monkeys do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fire it up. It's hot toe time. Hey, it's warm. Just the way I like it, nice and warm. Ah, this should do it, Martin. This water's perfect for a snow monkey. Come on in, Snowmo. Here she is. Oh, come on. Oops. I found Snowmo. <laughs> Snowmo, you want a grape in the hot tub? <laughs> is she gonna get in? Come on in, Snowmo. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Come on in. All right, yeah. <laughs> That's good, huh? Yeah. Come on in. Yeah. Hey, she's warming in her face for starters. <laughs> oh, who needs water when you can spin? Nung, 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 to get warm. Nung, 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 nung. All right, Snowmo. So, are you getting any warmer? Huh? <laughs> Is she getting any warmer? 
Yeah, what, what do you think, Sal? I don't know, Martin. I think she wants to hug me. <laughs> Fuzzy, furry lemur hugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. See you later. <laughs> Upsie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm giving her a leaner back ride. <laughs> go, Zabu, go! Hey, she's got my nose, she's got my nose! Uh, hey, hey, her hands are getting warm! <laughs> <laughs> she sure likes hugging, and she's a lot warmer. <laughs> Maybe hugging's the secret, Zab. Yeah, I think it's hugging. I think hugging's gonna warm her up. Huh. I'm gonna go hug with her. Hey, Snowmo, wait up! I'm gonna hug on you! Snowmo wants to hug on me. Hmm? I'm getting warm just watching him. The hugging worked. She's warm now. I love you, Snowmo. Yay! Hooray! The hugging worked. She's warm now. She's warm now, really. I feel snow monkeyish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel snow monkeyish. How about you, snow monkeyish? Feeling snow monkeyish. Snow, snow, monkey in the snow. When it's cold outside, I know where to go. Snow monkeyish. Feeling snow monkeyish. Snow, snow, monkey in the snow. When it's cold outside, I know where to go. Yeah! Wah! Snow monkey-ish! Feeling snow monkey-ish can really wear you out. Sure can. Hang on, I have just the thing. Remember how I said I'd get Martin back? You want to play a joke on him with me? Great. Look at this. Now this is a giant ice cube. Hey, Martin, come on over, have a seat. Oh, thanks, Chris. That's exactly what I need. Hey, Chris, is it just me? Or is this seat as cold as an ice cube? <laughs> <laughs> Chris gotcha. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Hey, Snowmo, where are you going? Hey, guys, I think Snowmo is getting ready to go. Bye, Snowmo. Bye, Snowmo. Thanks for coming by. She's a great climber. There she goes, up and out into the trees. And here comes a great flyer. Incoming Falcon, Dot! <laughs> Monk, Sika, does this look like a duck to you? <laughs> Not to me, Zob. This looks like a lantern falcon. Wow. And she brought a message from Jackie. Oh, let's see it. It's cold, though, but I'm hot because we're digging a creature trail. When the snow gets too deep, it's too hard for animals to get around. Small animals have a hard time in the snow, and so do some big animals. This troll will make it easier for them so they can find food and get home again. But I gotta get home now to shovel the walk for mom and dad. You know me, animals first. Mom Tundra! Hey Chris, hey Mark. There are lots of snow animals who don't need my shovel, like polar bears. How do they do it? What do you think, Chris? Let's go way up north to the land of ice and snow. To, to the, the polar, polar bears. bears! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Uh-oh. Avalanche! <laughs> <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Have you ever heard of snow dogs? This is a Siberian husky named Raz. And he loves to run in the snow. So does the rest of the team. And these snow dogs are going to take us to the land of the snow bear. Better known as the polar bear.
You ready? Let's go! Hey, who? Hubba, hubba, hike! Come on, man! Woo-hoo! Whoa! Yeah. These snow dogs can really run! Hike! Let's go, guys! Come on, go, go! Dig, dig, dig! Come on, guys, let's go, go! Siberian huskies are incredible! They can run for 50 miles without a break! Yeah, they're really fast! I hope we find a polar bear soon, because I can't keep up this pace for long! Forget about that for a second, Martin! I just hope we can handle this turn! Hang on! Now we really are snow people. <laughs> there they are. The snow bears. Wow, a mother and two cubs. You think we're giving her enough space, Chris? Yeah, I think it's perfect. When you're watching a bear in the wild, especially a mother with cubs, make sure you give her a lot of space. That way, you can take a nice, long, and close look without bothering the bears. Wow. They're hunkering down. Let me see. Yeah. Snow bears are called polar bears because they live so close to the North Pole. And the North Pole is one of the coldest places on Earth. So how do polar bears do it? How do they stay warm living in such a cold place? You see, polar bears have special fur that holds warm air inside each hair. That keeps polar bears warm, warmer than the warmest winter jacket. And when it gets really cold, a polar bear digs a nice warm spot in the snow and hunkers down in it. It's kind of like a snow fort. Hey, hey, Chris, you have room for one more? Wait, it's not ready yet. It's slippery. Ah! Oops. <laughs> now we're really snow people. <laughs> Why'd you do that? <laughs> Wrestling like a polar bear is another way to stay warm. <laughs> Playing like polar bears can really get you pooped. Yeah, but brother of mine, we can't rest now. You know why? Because it's our turn to pull the sled. And the snow dog's turn to rest. I think Raz wants a ride. Hey, who? Hubba, hubba, hike! hike. I could use a hot tub after this. Tell me about it. <laughs> Woo, we made it. Back at Animal Junction. Hey, this stuff is pretty cool. Are you sure you want to catch it with your mouth? Okay, here it goes. One, two, Whoa, three. Snow dog. Catch. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> the snow dogs love to eat the snowballs. I keep throwing them, and they keep eating them. <laughs> well, this is my kind of game. Cool and snowy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> hey, snow dogs. Catch. <laughs> you really do like eating these. Here goes our catch. Oof! Uh oh! Snowballs! Catch! <laughs> <laughs> and these aren't just any dogs, these are Arctic wolves. Maybe you call them Arctic wolves, but I know what they call each other. <laughs> these wolves howl to tell each other where they are. Like there's one over there in the cave. Oh, I'm telling them where I am. Oh, it's important because wolves live in families called packs. They howl to keep track of each other. Let's howl like wolves. Hey, 
they're climbing up the rocks. Just like I did in Sabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap. Leap, leap. And then I stopped because I wanted to climb to the top of Mount Zabumafu. Zabu! And then Wiggy flew by. I want to go too! But Wiggy, it's very cold on top of Mount Zabumafu. I have fur to keep me warm, but it's too cold up there for you. My feathers will keep me warm! Oh, yeah? Well then, let's go! Wait for me! I want to go too! Oh, but Gooba, it's very cold on Mount Zabumafu. Wiggy has feathers to keep her warm, and I have fur to keep me warm. But it's too cold up there for you. Oh, that's no problem, Zabu. I've been eating goobleberries all day, so my fat will keep me warm. Oh, yeah? Well, then let's go. Oh, but I might need some help. I'll help. I'll help. So we climbed and climbed and climbed. And as we climbed, it got colder I like climbing. and colder and colder. But our fur, feathers, and fat kept us warm. And then we heard a friendly voice. Uh, I, uh, hello. Oh. It was Snow Lemur. And we all jumped around on the top of Mount Sabumufu and had a lot of fun. <laughs> the end. Oh, my wiggling ears. <laughs> hey, it looks like the wolves might den up in the cave for a while. Today was a great day. Hey, Martin, my favorite was playing with Snow Mo. Yeah. Huh? And you know what my favorite part of the day was? Hanging out with the snow wolves. Oh, and my favorite part of the day was checking out the polar bears and dog sledding. I think the dog really liked it when he got to ride the sled and we were the dogs. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his body behind All the friends that we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Sabu, are snow peas your friends? Snow peas? I love snow peas. <laughs> oh, Chris, I'm not going. Why not, Sab? It's too, uh, uh, snow. Want to stay here then? We'll camp out till the snow melts. Excuse me. Guess that means yes. Just waiting out the snowstorm. With the tarantula. Hi, I'm Alex, and this is my snow dog, Rascal. Zabumafu. It's the crack fighters. While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend. Would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How did they get there? Come on, let's go. Me and you and Sabuma Boo. Come along and see what's new. We're doing the things that animals do. New animal prints to see. Animal jumps is the place to be. are in the move today. Cheetahs are playing. <laughs> Elephants taking mud baths. Warthogs jumping around like popcorn. <laughs> and the perfect way to end our mountain biking creature adventure is with a camp out. Yeah, tonight we're camping here in Animal Junction. Do you want to camp with us? Great! Time to set up the tent. <laughs> Let's call Zabu. He loves camping out. Zabu Mafu! Zabu! Zabu! Zabu Mafu! Come here, Zabu! Where is he? 
Zabu! Where's Zabu? We've been calling him forever. I don't know. Do you see Zabu anywhere? Where is he? Chris! Look up! Hey, buddy! You are one sneaky lemur, Zabu. <laughs> I'll get Zabu a snack. Woo! Woo yeah, whoa! One-handed! <laughs> You're a strong lemur, Zabu. Oh, yeah, a perfect lemur snack. We always have great snacks in Animal Junction. Zabu, I've got sweet potatoes. <laughs> Zabu loves sweet potatoes. Don't you, Zabu? Give me Zabu Zabu! I can't believe my mind. Look, this is great. What is it? It's a tent, Zob, for sleeping in. And we're camping out in Animal Junction tonight. Are you in? Yeah, yeah, way in. But that's not what my mind is surprised at. What are you surprised at, Zabu? Oh, I saw the most Mangatika animal just up there. He was sleeping, and he woke up when I jumped on him. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this? Mystery! The tail was long, black, and thick. It could move around like a snake. And it even grabbed onto branches. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. She was sleeping in the daytime. I woke her up. Who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A black furred, grabby tailed day sleeper. Do you know who she is? Okay, let's see. She has furry black hair with gold on the tips. Walks on four legs and loves to climb trees. A long, thick tail that's really strong. It can't be. You think so? Yes, she's a binturong. Mystery animal is here. Mm, too wrong. I've been to the forest and I've been to the desert, but I've never been to wrong. <laughs> Where's wrong? <laughs> no, not been to wrong is a place, Abu. This is a been to wrong. Been to wrong. Been to wrong. What a Mangatsika name. For an incredible creature. Hi. <laughs> she likes you, Zab. She's sniffing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. She wants to explore Animal Junction. Come on. You want to follow her? Sure. Let's go. <laughs> There's a lot of great stuff around here, Binturong. Well, make yourself at home. Yeah, that's the fun. It's a little cold. Hey, now she wants to climb. Manga Zika, look at her. She's a climber. Nobody knows very much about Binturongs because there aren't very many around. Because they live deep in the forest. And because they're nocturnal. That means they sleep all day and come out at night. Nocturnal, sleep all day, come out at night. So she's not used to being up when the sun's out. Sorry for waking you up, Binturong. We better help her get back to sleep. All right, let's start by finding her a nice, quiet place. Let's see, where can she sleep? Well, maybe the Binturong can sleep in there. Let's take a look inside. First, we'll need our headlamps. Headlamp? Okie dokie. How does this help you see in the dark? Zabu, that's not a headlamp. <laughs> that's a lampshade. Hmm. These are headlamps, and they're great for looking inside caves. Somebody's already sleeping in here, Zab. More nocturnal creatures. Bats. Ghost bats. Like most bats, they find dark, quiet places like caves to sleep in during the day. Any luck in there? Shh. Bats are sleeping. They're nocturnal. Sorry, Zob. Come on, let's see if we can find you a place to sleep. Maybe Binturon can sleep in the hole in this tree. Take a look inside, Zob. Hmm? Hey! It's flying squirrel babies. They're sleeping in there. Yeah, flying squirrels are nocturnal, too. Besides, 
This hole is way too small for a binturong. Shh. Flying squirrel sleeping. Hey, Martin. <laughs> I think she's found a place. Binturongs are heavy creatures. And, uh, you know, I think we better find you a different place to sleep. Because this won't work. <laughs> here, how about over here? Let me try this. There you go. Let's keep looking. Another nocturnal creature fast asleep. It's a kinkajou. Shh. Sorry. A kinkajou spends the night eating fruit and the day sleeping in the trees. <laughs> All the sleeping spots are taken. Zika, everybody's asleep in Animal Junction. I never knew so many creatures were asleep while we're awake. Oh, yeah, Zabu. Lots of animals come out at night instead of during the day. Like bats. At night, they leave their cage and fly off looking for food. And flying squirrels. They leave their tree holes at night and glide from tree to tree searching for nuts. But guys, it's getting dark out. We better hurry up if this Bintrong's gonna get any sleep before dark. Hmm. Maybe Bintrong can sleep up here. Yeah, that's where Bintrong likes to sleep. She doesn't sleep in holes or caves. She just curls up in the treetops. Like me. But Bintrong isn't curling up and sleeping. Bintrong is climbing. Maybe she just wants to climb around a little bit before she goes to sleep. Bintrongs are excellent climbers. Oh, sharp claws. Really dig into the tree bark. That way, a Bintrong doesn't slip or fall. But the real thing that helps a Bintrong climb through the trees is her tail. Her tail can grab onto things like a hand. When a Bintrong is moved through the trees, her tail is always grabbing onto branches. That way, if she slips, her tail can well, grab uh -oh. I smell mud. Hey, prehensile tails really work. Good thing I had my rope tail. Let's climb like a Bintron. You can do it! <laughs> I love to climb. <laughs> Chris, you're way up there. So is Bintron. How can we get this big trunk to sleep? Hmm, I know how. Maybe she just needs a snack before bedtime. Binturongs eat lots of different kinds of food. Eggs, leaves, fish, insects. But the kind of food they like the best is fruit. Okay, so we have pineapples, bananas, apples, grapes, plums, kiwis. Take your pick. Pineapples! pineapples. The Binturong likes pineapple best. Yeah, me too. Let's see if we can break into this one. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that tongue go. Hey, what about kiwis? I don't know, Zob, let's see. <gasps> no, she doesn't seem to like kiwi. She still likes the pineapples the best. Wait a second. Going for the plums? Yes, plums. Second course, plums. If you want to eat like a bintrong, hold your chin high in the air. Grapes? Huh. She's finished. Okay, bintrong, time to go to sleep. Bintrong's still not going to sleep. Can you believe that? I always get sleepy after a snack. Well, maybe she'll fall asleep if we watch a movie. Daymare on Oak Street. I love this movie. I just hope it's not too scary for the Bintron. Who knows, maybe she likes scary movies. I thought you guys said this was scary. It is, Zob. Keep watching. It's all bright and sunny. This is not a scary movie. Maybe not for you, Zabu, but what if you were a nocturnal creature? Whoa! I guess you're right. Daytime is as scary for Binturong as nighttime is for me. Hey, Chris.
Chris, pass me the popcorn. Popcorn? I don't have any popcorn. Me neither. What's popcorn? I smell popcorn. Mm, me too. It smells like it's coming from over there. All I smell is binturong. Of course, Zabu. Binturong smell like popcorn. What does popcorn smell like? I'll be right back, Zab. Okay, Chris. With the answer. Now, Zab, close your eyes. Oh, okay. My eyes are closed. Hey, no peeking, Zabu. Peeking. I mean, now, the lights. Zab, see if you can find the binturong by smelling. Oh, okay. First, smell here. Um, I'm smelling. Okay. Okay, now smell over here. Oh. Oh, oh, this is easy. Which is the binturong and which is the popcorn? Oh, this is easy. This is the popcorn and, uh, uh, oh, yes, that's the binturong. <laughs> okay, now take a look, Zabu. <gasps> this is the binturong and that's the popcorn. I got all mixed up. <laughs> you do smell like popcorn. Hey, we should call her popcorn. <laughs> Great name, Zabu. Mm. Okay, and listen, popcorn, you should be sleeping because yeah. soon you and all the nocturnal creatures have to wake up. Uh-oh. Too late. The moon's out. It's already nighttime. That's what time it is now. Time for the day creatures to go to sleep and the night creatures to wake up. It's wake up time for night creatures. They're on the move. Yeah, and our pal Bintrunk's raring to go. Even though she didn't sleep all day. I hope she's not tired for the night. I don't think she minds losing a little sleep, Zob. She had fun. Good, because I had fun too. And you know what? Right. I'm feeling binturongish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel binturongish. How about you? Binturongish. I feel binturongish. Binter, binter, binturongish. I've been up all night. I'm a binturong. Wrong-ish. Hey, Chris. Hey, Zob, look. Huh? Popcorn smells something. What could it be? Serval kittens. Binturongs have great senses. They use their nose to help them find fruit in the dark. Oh, that reminds me of Sensit. He had good senses, too. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. Leap when I bumped into Sensit. Oh, no! He was very excited. Oh, Zabu, things. Zabu! I really want to test my senses. My smelling, my feeling, my seeing. Can you go hide over there so I can try and find you? Oh, sure, hmm? Sensit. On. One, two, three. And I knew exactly how I was going to hide. I hopped over to a striped fruit tree and I ate striped fruit. And then I turned stripey and camouflaged into the striped tree. <laughs> I don't think even Sensit can see me here. <laughs> Say Zabu! <laughs> I can smell you, but I can't see you. <laughs> you here? I'm over here. Oh, wow, what senses. My ears are so super, they can even hear a striped tree talking. <laughs> it's not the striped tree talking, it's me, Zabu with stripes. <laughs> Sensit thought my joke was so funny that he laughed for the rest of the day. The end. <laughs> that was a great story, Zob. Hey, guys. Huh? Bintrong's taken off. Oh, maybe she smells some fruit in the forest. Bye, popcorn! Oh, now it's bedtime for day, creatures. <laughs> Even though you might not want to go to sleep. Oh, one day, one day. Ah. Camping out in Animal Junction's great, oh, isn't it, Zob? <laughs> it's too late, Chris. He's already asleep. Stop. You're talking in your sleep. What's that noise? I'll never get to sleep with that noise. What could it be? I know who made that noise. Duck. Uh, the duck. Great horned owl. 
I gotta see this. <gasps> yeah! What an incredible night creature. Check out those eyes. This place probably doesn't even look dark to this great horned owl. Hey, Chris, what's going on? Ah! <laughs> Having eyes like an owl would be great for getting up at night. I love the way that his head swivels around so those eyes can see in any direction. <gasps> look at this. A message from Jackie. Sometimes on the weekend, my parents let me stay up late so I can watch the night creatures. Raccoons usually sleep during the day, like a lot of creatures. They're playing with my mom's furniture. They were so cute. <laughs> I almost never get to see these guys during the day. Isn't it great? There's a whole different creature world at night. Be great to be a night creature sometimes. Jackie's right. It would be great to be a night creature. Let's do it. Let's go prowl with the night creature. I like it. And maybe we'll figure out who is making that noise. That is a weird sound. And there's no stopping us now. We're going on a trip. Yeah. We're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to get their stuff and split. Chris, we have our headlamps, so we don't need anything from the closet. Great, let's just head for the door. But where's the door? Aha, here it is. <laughs> Wrong door. This is the closet. <laughs> let's head the other way. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet, then they're headed out the door. Believe it or not, more creatures are active at night than during the day, and each makes a special sound. One of these creatures is keeping me awake. Do you want to find out who it is? All right! Well, it isn't going to be easy finding one sound because the night is full of sounds being made by all sorts of incredible night creatures. <laughs> Let's see some <laughs> night creatures. There's a Janet. Jackal, 12 o'clock. A hippopotamus. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. All right. Mm. Hear that? Mm. A leopard. Mm. Wow. And her cub. <laughs> the mom looks pretty worn out from hunting, but that cub just wants to play. <laughs> you know how it is when your parents are too tired to play. The same thing happens to leopards. You know, this nocturnal living is making me a little hungry. I'm gonna head back to the Jeep and have a snack. All right. Where do you think that sound's coming from? There's who's making that sound. Lions! Nighttime is the right time for lions. In the daytime, a lion's eyesight is about the same as ours. But at night, a lion can see six times better than we can. Another growling sound. And that one isn't a lion. That's the sound that's keeping me awake. <laughs> what? Martin? <laughs> I think we might have figured this out. Martin's stomach was growling. Huh? <laughs> I knew I should have eaten more popcorn. Well, eat up, Martin, so that by the time we get to Animal Junction, your stomach won't be growling anymore, and we can get some sleep. All right. Yeah, nighttime is the right time to see a lot of creatures. Hey, now that's a sound I know. It's Zabu. Yeah, but he's definitely not asleep. What is he doing in there? Let's find out. Oh, oh, you guys, you made it back for the party. Party? 
Yeah, we're having a nocturnal party. Me and the nocturnal animals, like these guys. Oh, African dormice. Yeah, they're pals of mine. Oh, wow. See these big ears? Those help the dormice pick up every little sound and find their way in the dark. Over here, here's another nocturnal friend I made. Wow, I can't believe it. A ring tail. Hey, and look at this tail. No wonder she's called a ringtail. And no wonder she's so good at moving through the night. Those huge round eyes can see anything in the dark, even a little dormouse. Yeah, she can see, smell, and hear her way through the night, making her an ultimate nocturnal creature. <laughs> Great senses, like me! A ringtail is in the same family as the kinkajou and the raccoon. She has a face a lot like a kinkajou and a ring tail a lot like a raccoon. <laughs> Always give a creature a space. It's getting close to morning. Maybe Ringtail wants a snack before she goes to sleep. Oh, I'll feed her. Hey, Ringtail, you want a bite? It's good, it's a banana. Huh. I can't believe my mind how great nocturnal animals are. They do lots of the same things we do. They just do it at night. <gasps> like since it. It was the first time I met him in Sabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when all of a sudden someone <laughs> leapt from a zango bush. <laughs> oh I thought, who is that scary creature? <laughs> I'm sense it, not scary. He <laughs> heard me think. I think people think I'm scary and a monster because I'm different and I like to do things at night. Oh. You're scary? You're not scary. No. You're just nocturnal. Yeah, yeah, you're nocturnal. I'm gonna stay up and do things with you tonight. So we sat and waited until night came. <laughs> <laughs> it's night time, oh boy, Zabu. <laughs> oh, so we did things that Sense It likes to do at night. <laughs> Ooh, we played slide down the sleeping Zaboomafuasaurus. Well, that was fun. Let's do it again. So me and Sensit played all night long. And that's how I met my new friend Sensit. And believe me, he isn't scary. The end. Great story, Zabu. Thanks. Nocturnal animals are great, too. Maybe I'll be a nocturnal animal. Well, you better get to sleep then, Zob. It's morning now, and Ringtail is headed off to sleep for the day. Have a good sleep, buddy. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah! Hey guys, can I have a sleepy snack for when I go to sleep like a nocturnal lemur? Yeah, two garbanzo beans coming up. <laughs> Good morning, Zabu. Yeah, have a great day sleep. <laughs> Hi, Krat Brothers. Uh, we better get some sleep, too. We've been up all night. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. The day creatures are coming out. We can't miss the day creatures. You're right, Martin. No time to rest for a creature adventure. To the creatures! We'll see you next time. Hey, wait up! Hi, my name is Allie, and this is my cat, Maggie. She loves to purr. Zaboomafoo. With the crack brothers. While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How did we get there? Come on, let's go. Me and you and Zaboomafoo. Come on.
Junction in record time. Now let's synchronize our watches. All set. Okay, we're setting our watches because a bear and her cubs pass by Animal Junction every day at lunchtime. And we don't want to miss them. To be safe, I'll set the egg timer. Okay, the crack clock is ticking along nicely. And for backup, the hourglass. Okay. So now, there's no way that we're gonna miss the bear and her cubs passing by. No way, no how. You excited to see them? Great. You know who else wants to see them? Sabu! Sabu. Hey, Let's call Sabu Mafu! Sabu! Hey, hey, Sabu! <laughs> how you doing, buddy? So, what kind of animals did you see out there today? Wow! He's climbing high. Boomafoo! That leaping lemur. Come on, leap like a lemur. You can do it! Snack time. Hey, Sabu! You want some grapes? <laughs> no, wait. Not that many. Save some for us. Here you go, Chris. Thanks. Wow, these are great. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Whoa! Sabu Mafu! <laughs> wow, Zob, you sure gulped those grapes. Well, I was hungry, but now I'm bookie. All right, well, here's the plan. Mm -hmm. We set our watches because the bear and her cubs are passing by at lunchtime. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I want to set my watch, too. What? What's a watch? <laughs> this is a watch, Zob. We use it to oh. tell time. But, uh, if I don't have a watch, how will I know when the bears are coming? We have the crack clock, the egg timer, the cuckoo clock. Don't forget the hourglass. Yeah, nothing's gonna keep us from seeing the bear family. Everybody's excited. <laughs> oh, that makes me think of the Mungatsika animals I saw today. Who could they be? Who could it be? <laughs> This animal who I did see Can you help me guess this mystery? That nose! You couldn't miss it! He had four legs, too. And those legs, they were great for climbing. Who could it be? This animal who I did see Oh, God's God! Oh, God's God! Animal! That nose just kept sniffing. And then, there was another one! Who could it be? This animal who I did see Can you help me guess this mystery? They're wiggly-nosed, stripy-tailed climbers. You know who they are? Wiggly, Wiggly noses. noses. Long claws and long snout. Mm -hmm. A tail that sticks high up in the air. Do you know who the mystery animals are? <laughs> a bunch of kawadis. Yeah! Manga kawadi! Mystery animals here! Wow, what a nose. You know what I love about kawadis? Watch their noses really closely, because their noses move around at the end of their snout. One, two, three, four, five kawadis. Five kawadis in Animal Junction. I can't believe my mind. Kawadis have everything a climber needs. I know, I climb too. Kawadis are great climbers. I want to climb too. <laughs> Here goes. <laughs> Kawadis can climb ladders upside down. Come on up, guys. It's a great view. Should we head down? Woo! -hoo. Whoa, look at this guy. <laughs> he can hang right off a towel. Oops, there goes that apple. But the kawadi's after it. 
nothing gets away from a coati. Whoa, those sharp claws dig right into the blanket and keep the coati from slipping. And it's not just their claws that help them climb. Their tails help them keep their balance so they don't fall. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! His watch fell on the snog machine! We didn't see it! <laughs> but we humans don't have tails, so we're not as good at keeping our balance. My brother needs a little practice climbing like a quaddy. There are all kinds of climbing creatures, and each one has a different thing that helps them climb. Porcupines get help from their tails. Orangutans use their long arms and hands. And geckos use their sticky feet pads. So many great climbers and so many great kawadis. And kawadis get into everything <laughs> in between climbing. Hey, you know what? This is making me feel kawadi-ish. Do you feel kawadi-ish? All right. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel kawadi-ish. How about you? Kawadi-ish. I feel kawadi-ish. Kawadi-ish. I'm a nosy little climber. I'm a kawadi. Kawadi-ish. <laughs> Nothing could be finer than swinging on a viner. I can't believe it. Well, what's the matter, Martin? My watch is broken. Mm. I think that crat fall was one too many for mm. my favorite old watch. Yeah, well, we still have mine to let us know when the bears are gonna get here. Um, I don't think so, Chris. I think your arm has lost your watch. What? When did that happen? Mm. Maybe when you went climbing, remember? Whoa! <laughs> it's got to be around here somewhere. Good luck, Chris. I hope he finds his watch. No watch, but I see a tire tread eel, a snail, and a newt. I want to see too. Zika. Zika. There's the paddle tail newt. Oh, yeah. And the tire track eel is over there. Uh -huh. And there's the gold Inca snail. I can't believe my mind. I never knew so many creatures lived underwater. Yeah. No watch in here. Hey, Martin, you gotta help us find my watch. I'll be right there. But right now, I'm climbing with the Kawadis. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> well, I was climbing. That makes me think of one time in Zabu Land. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. And then I heard a funny noise. It sounded to me like Narchi. Sure enough, it was Narchi. Climbing up the hill, pushing a zoot fruit. But then he sneezed and slid down the hill. The zoot fruit rolled down after him. He tried again. Climbing up the hill with his zoot fruit, but he sneezed again. And he slid down the hill. The zoot fruit rolled down after him. Then Narchi said, I just can't get my zoot fruit to the top of the hill. So I said to him, hey, Narchi, why don't you climb a different way? Well, I only know one way to climb. Well, here's another. Huh? Your nose can help you climb. Turn around and climb up the hill with your sneezes. Oh. You can do it. Thanks, Zom. That's it. Go ahead. Good. <laughs> oh, good for you. I did it. I climbed so the hill. So he and Narchi sat on top of the hill and nibbled on his zoot fruit all day. The end. <laughs> it was yummy. <laughs> that Kawadi's still climbing. Hey, Kawadi. Which one was he? There are so many Kawadis. I've got an idea. I'm gonna give you all names. Let's see. I'll call you Climber. And you climb me and uh, climb it. And uh, let's see. Oh, you can be Climber Addo. And hey, where's the fifth Kawadi? There he is. I think I'll call him Stinky. Why Stinky? Oh, because I like that name. 
It's hard for us to tell Kawadis apart, but Kawadis don't have any trouble recognizing each other. That's because each Kawadi has his or her own smell, and that's how they know who's who. Hey, everybody, it's snack time! Oh! <laughs> there goes the hourglass. Uh-oh. Huh. Sorry. <laughs> Uh-oh, the cuckoo clock's broken. Oh, no! Somebody catch that ball! It might break the last clock. I got it, it's mine! Oops! Oh, I slipped! <laughs> oh, no! Now the crack clock is broken, too! All the clocks are broken! Now I really need to find my watch. Kawadis are great diggers and sniffers. They can smell food hidden underground, then dig it up. And Kawadis love to dig up turtle eggs. Here's a boop. That's me. Wish you were here? Here? Here! Wish you were here, Martin and Chris. Hey, Martin, Chris, here's that postcard you sent me from the big mountain. What a mountain. Yeah. yeah. That was some climb. Mm. But hey, where'd you get the postcard? The Quaddies dug it up. They're great diggers. Right, Climber? Oh, I better make sure they're all still here. Uh, let's see. Climber's up there, and uh, Climby is over there. Hey, or is that Climate? Oh, uh, and over there is Climberado. And there is Stinky. It's hard keeping track of Quaddies. And hard keeping track of time without a clock or a watch. Yeah, my watch is busted, the crack clock's busted, but the egg timer. It's broken, too! With all the clocks broken or lost, how are we ever going to know when the mom bear and cubs come by? Unless... I feel an idea coming on. Unless... Give up your idea, Chris. Unless we put together the sundial. Sundials have been used for thousands of years to tell time. All right! Okay, let's build a sundial. Okay, what does it say? What does it say? Okay, the time is... Uh -huh. Oh no, the sun's gone behind the clouds. You need the sun to tell time with a sundial. Well, what are we gonna do? If we don't know what time it is, how will we know when to look for the bears? We'll just have to wait till the sun comes out. My stomach. It's better than a watch. Because when my stomach grumbles, it's lunchtime. And time for the mom bear and babies. Yeah. There they are. Yeah, all right. <laughs> a grizzly bear, mom, and her cubs. It looks like it's lunchtime for the grizzly bears, too. Yeah, did you know that a grizzly bear eats grass? Wow. Well, grass is yummy. And you know what time it is now? What time's up? Playtime for grizzly bears. <laughs> what a great creature family. <laughs> yeah, and we did it. We got to see the mother bear and her cubs. <laughs> That's not a bear growling. That's my stomach. It's still lunchtime. Boy, am I hungry? Me hmm? too. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> Even Stinky's hungry. And I need some spaghetti. Chris, your watch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You must have flown off my wrist and fallen into the sack machine. You almost got spaghetti and watch instead of spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> oh, hey, the Kawadis are leaving. Bye, Climate. Bye, Climberato. Bye, Climber. Bye, Climby. And goodbye, Stinky. <laughs> bye, 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 everybody. Addy. Incoming. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a... Duck! <laughs> It's Sticky Feet. The Peregrine Falcon. Hey, is Sticky Feet a good climber like the Kawadi? 
Sticky Feet doesn't need to climb. She can fly. Oh. Hey, a message from Jackie. There's a kitten stuck up this tree. The poor little guy knew how to climb up, but he's too little and afraid to climb back down again. So we have to help him. It's okay. Don't be scared. I'm just trying to help him. There you go. You're safe now. Okay, lower the basket. When the kitten grows up, He'll be able to climb much better than I can. But for now, he still needs our help. Some animals can climb way higher trees and not get scared. Come on, let's go inside and get us some milk. Oh, cats are pretty good climbers. And so is Jackie. And there are lots of climbing creatures out in the wilds, huh? A great place to find climbing creatures is in the mountains. You thinking what I'm thinking? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. I think you think I'm thinking what you think I think you're thinking. All right, already. I think we all know what you're thinking. Chris and Martin are going on a trip. Yeah. To the mountain. To the, the mountains. mountains. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Oh, no. Avalanche. Oh. Sweatshirts, pants, climbing shoes, helmet, they're water bottles, cool and a culture. They Let's go. In store. <laughs> they're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. See you later, Zob. Bye, buddy. Bye, Crack Brothers. Here's the mountain, and there's the top. You, Chris, and I are gonna climb that mountain all the way to the top. And when we get there, we're gonna meet one of the highest climbers in the world. I wonder who it'll be. Careful as you go, Chris. Climbing a cliff isn't exactly like climbing into bed. We should be seeing some climbing creatures any time now. You're right, Chris. Keep your eyes open. We're getting closer. A pika! You know you're up pretty high when you see a pika. They live high in the mountains. A pika fills his cheeks with grass and carries it back to his home. A pika doesn't slip off the rocks because he has grippy little toes. Wouldn't it be cool to have feet like a pika's? You wouldn't need sneakers. Ooh, Martin has stinky feet. Hey, Martin, put your shoes back on. Okay, Chris. Let's keep climbing. I can hardly wait to find out who's at the top. Whoever she is, she's got to be a great climber. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see her. Time for a break. A little rest, a little water, and a little snack. You know, Martin, I was thinking, Cougars are great climbers. Maybe we'll see one. You're right, Chris. But we might not hear them, because cougars are silent climbers. Yeah, that's why they called them the Ghosts of the Rockies. Ready, Martin? Ready, Chris. Let's go. OK, the final ascent. We're almost to the top, bro. The climbers at the top of the mountain, the bighorn sheep. Look at them go. They must be the best tag players in the world. I bet you could never catch them. Why don't we try it? You be a bighorn sheep, and I'll be a bighorn sheep, and you try to catch me. Great idea. Only one thing, you try to catch me. <laughs> all right, get this. Remember, it's all in the feet. And bighorn sheep have special hooves that give them a great grip on slippery rocks, even when they're butting heads. 
That's right. In the winter, male bighorn sheep have incredible headbutting contests. That's got to give you a headache. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt as much as it looks because a bighorn sheep has an extra layer of bone in his head, kind of like our climbing helmets. Exactly. Hey, you think of what I'm thinking? Yep. You should never butt heads unless you're a real bighorn sheep. I think I like pillow fights better. <laughs> Me too. At least pillow fights are a little softer. <laughs> We're at the top of the world, and we've met some of the animals that live in the highest places. Mission accomplished. Time to head back down. Let's go. Hey, too bad we never saw a cougar. Well, maybe next time. Wait till Zabu hears about our climb. One pin, then another pin. Oh, you're a good climber now. Yeah. What's Zabu doing now? now? Good. Yeah. Good. Another pin. Good. Hey, Zab. Hi, guys. Little Leaper and I are good teachers. We taught this mongoose creature how to climb. Oh, you don't have to teach him how to climb. Zabu, he already knows how to climb. That's a mud skipper. And the amazing thing about mud skippers is that they're a type of fish that can climb. A climbing fish. Well, if he's a mud skipper, why doesn't he stay in the mud? Well, sometimes mud skippers come out onto land to eat or just to climb around. Hey, there goes Little Leaper. <laughs> little Leaper's a great climber. Show him your stuff, Little Leaper. He's almost as good as me. Little Leaper and I can't believe our minds. A climbing fish that doesn't live underwater. That's the amazing thing about mud skippers. They can live in the water or out of the water. A mud skipper has special breathing skin in the back of his throat so he can breathe air. And a mud skipper also has gills for breathing underwater. He can breathe two ways. The underwater way and the not underwater way. Fish that climbs trees and breathes out of water. Hey, guys, that reminds me of some climbers from Zabu land. Wah! I was leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, leap, leap. And then I stopped because I wanted to climb to the top of Mount Zabumafu. <laughs> and then Wiggy flew by. Well, let's climb then. Well, well, I want to climb too. Well, then let's all climb. Oh, but I might need some help. Oh, help! Oh, help! So my friends followed me as we climbed up the big mountain. Even though it was a long way to the top, I like climbing. We kept climbing and climbing and climbing. And then we heard a friendly voice at the top. Oh, you made it, Doug. You're good climbers. Yeah, you're good climbers. Oh. It was Snow Lemur, and we all jumped around on the top of Mount Zabumafu and had a lot of fun. <laughs> the end. Today was a real Mungazika day. I can't believe my mind. What was your favorite part, Zaba? Oh, I like climbing with Mudskipper and Little Leaper. Yeah, and I love when the Kuwatis were climbing all over the place. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we got to see the mother bear and the cubs. Thanks to Martin's stomach. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Making like a mud skipper and climbing out up a tree. See you later. Bye, Zob. Happy climbing. Hey, how about this? Let's go caving. Yes, caving is climbing underground. All set, Martin? Oh, yeah. And we'll see you later. My name is Skip, and this 
is my pet Zaza, and I love her.